Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to X-Prince TV. I'm Melanie Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today's wednesday april 5th 2023 now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break let's learn sloth breaths to find a moment of calm and rest in every day first relax and loosen your body like a lazy sloth and breathe in as you smell a flower Then breathe out and slowly toss the flower as you stretch. Breathe in and smell the big tropical flower. Then breathe out and gently toss the flower as you stretch your arms. Let's try. That was so calming. Now let's see what happened in Today in History with Nia. Thanks, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. Today in History on April 5th, 2020, Drew McIntyre defeats Brock Lesnar to win the WWE Championship in WrestleMania 36. WrestleMania is a professional wrestling tournament and live streaming event. You may be more familiar with WrestleMania's most recent tournament that was the 39th in its history. This tournament happened last weekend and was won by Roman Reigns. Back in the 2020 WrestleMania, it was heated between Drew and Brock to win the World Championship belt. People were really surprised and upset since everyone expected Brock to win. Wow, I wonder what it would feel like to see that fight up close. Now let's see what's for lunch today with Jasmine. Thank you, Nia. Today's tasty lunch is chicken nuggets, ketchup packet, mustard, sweet potato fries, celery, diced pears, and tomorrow's breakfast is sausage breakfast pizza, graham crackers, fresh apple, cocoa puffs, 100% apple juice, and your choice of milk or juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch and breakfast can change at any time. It's always bringing lunch card. Don't forget to let your know if you're receiving lunch today. For now, that's it. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Jasmine. Students, this course instructional software challenge ends on June 2nd. It just began last week, so you still have lots of time left. Check the flyer for the requirements and get it done. Scholars, the spring testing season is going on. Today, kindergarten and first graders will be taking their math NWA. Make sure to check the schedule to see when it's your time to test. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum at school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Students, the Patriots store is open every morning. Tomorrow morning, it's 7th and 8th graders' turn to go. Don't forget your tickets. We are still looking for middle school students to participate in our game show segment. Make sure to sign up outside room 200 if you're interested. Sports fans, today our girls select football team has their first game against Aces at 4.30 p.m. at Brian Piccolo Park. Make sure to go and show some support if you can. Let's go Patriots and good luck girls. It's that time of year again Patriots. Book fair gear, bolder, prouder, stronger, reader. Check this out, I bought it myself.
Fair is opening this Thursday and it's closing on the 14th. Make sure to check the schedule to see when it's your time to shop at the book fair. I hope you all are excited because I know I am. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Hadassah. Thank you, Melanie. Today's weather is expected to be 86 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Today seems like a great day to go outside and enjoy some fresh air. In other weather news, you have probably seen lightning before. But have you seen upwards lightning? This video you're seeing is of an upwards lightning strike that happened at New York City skyline. Upwards lightning is a pretty cool sight. So here's how it happens. First off, for it to even occur, it must be near a town, mountain, or tall structure. Secondly, with regular lightning, when it strikes down, it's also creating a field of electricity in the sky at the same time. In this case, the electricity from the skyline is attracted to the electricity in the sky. That's what causes the upward motion in the lightning. Now, let's go to Ariel for the birthdays. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's birthday girls are Salome Pineda and Giselle Adams. Happy birthday. Now, let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Ariel. Patriots, here are your participations. You represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. June. You were the only one who had the correct answers to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what is the fastest way to double your money? The correct answer was, place it in front of a mirror. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Look at the picture. One color perfectly matches its name. Which word is it? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When is it will be announced in the next morning announcements? Everyone, RPTV would like to wish you a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!